our last but not least speaker, Dr. Shinawas Lidor Pingyu, Magaling Technical Solid Division Manager from PTT MCC Belkin Company Limited in Thailand. Um, he has joined PTT Group in 2007 and worked in the biodegradable and compostable plastic industry. And he uh, moved to PTT MCC in 2011. And he uh, successfully established the first by Obed, fully built lean, succinct, or by old PBS in Thailand. So, this is more focusing on compostable plastic market trade and research opportunities to unlock potentials. Okay, please. Thank you for the introduction. So, uh, and thank you very much for uh, joining me for this conference. It's really uh, Educating and we learned a lot from the previous speaker, Master Professor Tan, explained me about uh, uh, the trade part, I mean, the visit, uh, promoting of the compostable plastic in the Philippines. It's very really interesting. And also, the South Professor talk to show that uh, the very interesting, very incredible that uh, this is one of the biggest uh, issue in the, in the compostable plastic area, that this is very nice. Area. Oh, yeah, the that we are using is for us. <laughs> and uh, uh, the, the topic today that we are, I like to talk is about compostable plastic, and maybe the person can tell me a lot on explaining about compostable plastic so it can save a lot of my time. <laughs> and what, uh, before we talk about the research, uh, uh, first I, I'd like to say that uh, in the past, because I'm from the technical side from the research part, and when I joined the company, I only find it. Let me say, I will say the communication problem with even in the same company, I have a problem with the same team and the technical team. And because when they give us the, the inquiry for the development or the team, every time, even we talk about them, if not, we cannot uh, come to with the, with the same result, the same, the same target again. And I wish I could share for my opinion why is that the reason is that. Uh, when we are talk, focusing on the development of the technique, we, we, uh, we own our, our here is only for the technical side for the what is the property, the number that we have to achieve. But for the sales side or marketing side, they are, they are focusing on the market trend, on the regulatory regulation, and, and for, for them, they change every day because uh, the market is dynamic. But for us, we think the target. So that's why when we are developing with them, there are always something that they are missing. Uh, so before, before today, I want to, to share to you that uh, before we, for, for, for me, for our PTMC, when we are doing the development, we have to understand the background of the, of the industry also. So when we talk about the possible plastic, everything starts with the supply economy. What is a supply economy? Is a, basically, is a, this, this price, this uh, this graph is a is a start by the Eric McCarthy, McCarthy Foundation. They are the kind of the, the mothership of the of the supply economy, and they involve a lot of company. This is really important because you can see that major major company and major major country already joined this. So they are they will lead the industry and they will lead the direction for for the development. And in this. Uh, they basically, they focus on recycling and the green economy, and not just the technology, but also the the uh, financing. If everything is in, is included here, and for compostable plastic, is a part of here. It's really small, but it's still in there. <laughs> so it's a for the compostable plastic is a way that we can able to to uh, reduce the plastic waste, and you can see that in. There are the mechanical recycling here. That is a uh, traditional way that people do the recycle. And compost open recycle here is the compostable plastic. So basically, the is as everyone know that it's possible that we that we can recycle every plastic. Because for example, the plastic waste that is a fuel uh, packaging is really difficult. There are the fat, there are the oily is a uh, Color also some product have color, so it's really difficult to clean that. And for the recycle business, they require really clean recycling. Otherwise, the waste still will be kind of contaminated, and the property will be lost. So, 
for the food industry, uh, basically they are, uh, they recycle, recycling really doesn't like the food, the food waste, plastic, uh, food packaging waste. So that material is, is suitable to go with the plastic recycling is because in this here, uh, compostable plastic can be uh, composed and become the plastic waste. I mean, become the fertilizer and CO2. And for, for the trim, the compost, composting site that currently is still being limited, but it's growing uh, every, every year. For example, in the US, last year is around uh, 2021, is about 08. And in last year, it is increasing to 120, and it keeps growing and growing. Another, uh, another uh, thing that we should consider is the regulation. When we do the, the uh, development, we have to, consider to keep, uh, follow up with the regulation. For example, these are some of the applications that people do research for compostable plastic in the past. And one day, uh, this application is banned. So when it banned, it, you stop the project. You, you, don't, you don't do any more research on this. For example, for the cotton plastic, a lot of companies doing the Composable injection or possible uh, small tube to, for this application. And if you don't follow the trend, because in the in the EU they also have the kind of the communicate to to the company for coming harm. And this information is a is a leaking to the to the public. So they give us some time to just to see the trend. So if we don't follow the trend and we Keep researching, researching, and what they will be banned. And even for this, uh, this site is not banned, but it's, uh, there, uh, there are some measures that we have to follow up on the application. Even that, you can see that the volume still is banned, but the volume is not banned because they still like children, so it's still need volume, something like that. For the uh, cups, uh, for example, the cups for beverage, this cup, in the Originally, it's not, it's not in the list, but somehow it just came up into the list. So there are something that we, we, not, we when if we keep all up with the, with the regulation, we know our direction for the research also, so that when we do research, we do not uh, to uh, go into the sound list kind And one of the interesting part is efficient here, in the part, this UK is not in the list at all. And some cause a uh, Everyone knows that when, when fishing net go to the, to the sea, they, the fishing net has to be very strong because the, when you do the fishing, the, the carry many tons of the, of the fish. And the fishing net yeah, is very expensive for I mean, fishing net. Uh, I talked to the uh, fishing net company that for the ship and they go to the sea, uh, the fishing net costs about, about uh, 1 million baht for the. Uh, one million baht yes, for, for the small ship, small ship. So it is really expensive. So in the past, people don't like, want to change or the one this fishing net to not only too fast because otherwise when it will be very costly. But anyway, when you, the EU commission they at this cost they finally they just that it's really uh, fishing gear is is uh, very toxic for, for the environment for the for the marine condition. So this are something that uh, I, I want to say that it's a regulation that we should follow very closely when we are doing the, the development. Otherwise, it may cause a lot of problems for us. And these are something that uh, for, for this side, if you want to see the detail, you can just go here. And one more here, one more first of all, the EPI is one of the really uh, important part that uh, they want. They come and want to for, to see us, what to, to see that. Uh, but they have these uh, measures, and the, this product should have should uh, behave better. For example, we, we, even the government don't say anything, but uh, we when they give us this sign, we interpret that if if this product are not improved for in, in the environmental uh, aspect, the next step they will ban. This is something that we so when when they the then the government issue this kind of measure so the industry will understand and for this we become the high priority for development and for the research if we up we 
uh, focus to this area is to use more likely that it can be uh, into the industry, into the business. Yeah, actually I don't have to talk about this personal technology <laughs> for compostable plastic at the moment. And these are the trends for the sustainability trends maybe you are familiar with this one. Uh, this is a uh, this lies uh, petroleum based and oil based. In the horizontal line is a uh, non -com non compostable and compostable. These are really uh, maybe see this more than 10 years already that this is a power PP is in this area for PLA and the OPS is in here, but this is quite already. Now, the industry is changed. If we are, if we are, we, we may think that we are developing something in this area, it's really green, but now it's only on the uh, very far away of, of the development. There are more areas that people are, are focused, consumers focus on coal compost. If we talk about industrial compost, they will say that, oh, okay, it's difficult for them to find the compost inside. They want for compost. When we are talking about the compost, they say that, oh, you want marine compost, or other people say, no, this is all marine, marine compost. And not just that, they, just, they don't want only marine because they say, uh, they say that they don't throw the product to the marine, they want to recycle. So they want everything, they don't want only one thing. So for the recycle, there are many aspects. Right? Chemical recycle, chemical recycle, or and then the trend now is going for the chlorine and the forming. Yeah, then you just collect all the plastic waste. You don't care that is the compostable or conventional plastic. You just collect it and you throw it to burner, to incinerator, and make it into the cement and form into uh, basic chemical. Right? Actually, you to be something, and you can make the new plastic. So this way is also uh, good for the recycle. But we have to see on the oxygen because uh, in this way, there's a lot of uh, energy that we use for chlorine uh, So these are the industries that they are involved So if we keep follow up sticking our development in this area, maybe it's good for one or two years. But if we are focusing on a five year or ten year later, we will be okay. And what does this? There are more. For example, there are people are talking about chemical, water soluble. Water soluble, there are there is some acidized water soluble, but it's very difficult to use. For example, basically people use one certain type of water and when they throw away, it disappears. And if you have something like this, this what I mean. We, we are trying to find this solution for for a lot of and a lot of customers they are asking that. Our product is good for composting, but they want really long shelf life. They want the one year shelf life, two year shelf life, but they want to compost that they require to compost very fast. <laughs> so this is something that we are we actually are, are looking for. Next is uh, I want to share more on the trend of the other plastic market. So these are the uh, the market size for 2021. For this, is include a lot of credible or not credible, but it doesn't include petroleum gas, not credible. So it doesn't include like PPVD, it's not in this graph. But this is like OPE or like OPP, like OPE, my everything is in here. And we, we see that it should be growing about 10.3% CHR until uh, in 2029, we expect to have a lot of consumption in 2029. And the area consumption, the biggest one is in Europe, and followed by the Asia Pacific. So when we say Asia Pacific here, basically they just uh, production based and they will uh, send their product to the EU or US. And US still uh, quite quite low for their consumption. And you can see that the, uh, if you look in this graph, or only this graph, we cannot explain as a lot, but if we uh, uh, looking to work on the application or the development. If you want to do some development, you better go with the EU. A lot of uh, EU companies there like to do the development. They are, they are correct for, they can wait for a few years to get a very really, uh, innovative product. For Asia Pacific, most of the development, maybe I would say that more customers only focus on production. 
not much to come out of the world. Maybe we in the uh, developed country like Japan or in Korea, they are focused on the uh, new research development. But before in other countries like China or even Thailand, we only focus in, in the production. North America is uh, kind of in the middle. Uh, we have a lot of developments that not much, but quite a bit of development. And if we look into the uh, and the not dependable, this one is basically the PT, the PT. The goal is to find big about 10 percent per year, it's quite big for the industry. So in 2021, it's around like 1.2 million tons. Uh, and it should grow to a few point eight million tons in the year. So you can see that the trend is good, and so that we when we are going. When we are going like this, there should be new more education and new technology should be coming up. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to have grow like this big this fast. So what is the, the key driver for, for the growth of the market? What is the, the market that's trade? And why is this important for technical side to know? It's really important because uh, when we understand the market driver of the best trade, we can uh, design our uh, research or our development to fit with the, with the same team. Otherwise, if we are, cannot hold, uh, catch up with the big what the market is going, and in the end, if we, if we are going to be left behind. So, uh, we better have to go into detail. But you can see that even the Russian Ukraine conflict or the coronavirus, it impact the development. For example, I, would, I want to share from our experience. In the past, we before COVID time, we developed a lot on the fiber. We developed a for the smartphone and replay and everything. With a good result, when COVID comes in, we develop it's gone. Because everyone don't, don't care about the new product. They just want to produce the face mask for people. So no one will not make for, for two years, something like this. So this is the impact from the market, from the industry. And we have to the, uh, uh, develop it. And if we look into the application, you can see that the trend on application is on the packaging, uh, followed by the consumer goods here, and the, the next one is the fiber, and the same time from here. This is also important. So we can, this, we can, this can show, can tell you that why a lot of customers uh, or a lot of people are focusing only in the physical packaging. And, Therefore, I'm not sure for the other company, but for PTHC, a lot of our customer requirement and development mostly is in the personal identity. Next is the trend on the sustainability. So we cannot just see the trend for now. We have to see the trend in a very long time because development normally takes a few years. And if we want to be uh, ahead of the other competitors, we should see the trend in the at least uh, five to ten years. So the trend on the food packaging, why do I would say food packaging? Because the uh, compostable part is only the focus on food packaging. Now the other product are uh, digital, they are maybe but the digital product is uh, for the quite low profit. And even because it's quite proper. And for the food packaging is uh, a can more things in from the consumer. So in the 2014, 2014 uh, the consumer will not tolerate the soil between sustainability and the convenience. So it's kind of sustainability will be compassed. For now, currently we say that uh, it's good to have is that it's a soil for customer to buy or not, or not. But in 2040, it will be a requirement. Uh, so it's not a great But we will say that it will be a uh, sustainability to be a uh, for, for packaging, and the government will also mandate us. And the end of life also, now we are carefully we try to have a, try to unify end of life that every product should recycle. This is kind of EU, we try to do that, that every product should not be recycled. So we the future income will be rise and hope we hope all that you like realize that it's not possible. So uh, the consumer they will require several end of life. For example, they want to compost, they want to recycle together, 
and we also want something like that. Long shell fly and and a good good layer, something like this. So and this one of the interesting fiber based packaging you dominate. Now fiber based is not is uh still have a lot of the uh uh hunger in in we 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 try to launch the market. But we the study show that the fiber base you dominate and so we can if we collect this study and we can check to the the uh, research now we can see a lot of the fiber uh, research but a lot of possible fiber is coming up by a lot and so for what's slow the development of a plastic I would say what if you look at the pay point yes the first one cost possible plastic is much higher cost there are two to talk to soil. First one the raw material is more expensive. Uh, second one is polyester is heavier. The more the density of polyester is more hard to see. Polyethylene is more hard to see. And we are, we, when we sell product, we sell resin, we sell as a, as a way. But when customers make the product, they sell as a volume. We make the straw, we make the injection product, everything is a kind of volume. So with the same volume, the same size, but here we will not be able to this is what we see. And another one is that the small plastic uh, bioplastic has a smaller economy of scale, that may be more expensive. So in the future, if the market grow, these two will be related, uh, but some part, some cannot be made because of the idea, the city is easier, cannot. And current diet person can say that Compostable plastic has a modern processing and also the polar property, the chemical property, biological property is the modern and not just that the shell plant is only current food packaging required at least one year for the shell plant. But the, the compostable plastic it should compost in six months or eat in six months in the composting facility, but in, in the normal environment, maybe one year is the maximum. But for the current the market requirement is one year minimum. So that's something that we have to do well for this. And also, the information currently, uh, most of the fiber plastic has a, can, cannot use it in a really hot temperature. And, and uh, customers, they require to have a available or available. And also, the particle in the that the customer wants. So this is something that the area that we, if we can we do not make this area if you uh, researchers have idea for this, please talk to me. <laughs> so for the first of this one is a really important one. Long chain fly rapidly when we can go when this course is kind of amazing we can do. But uh, we I don't say that it's not it's not it's impossible, I will say that we don't know how to do it yet. For example, uh, there are if we can do some coating that can uh, last for one year and after, after the coating disappears, it can start a new invention. This is something that I did and it is possible. And also the microbiome is if we can find some uh, uh, fuel or anything, it is possible for this. I would say that it is possible. So for the example of this idea, I would say that this, uh, if we have this kind of packaging, it is kind of ideal. Uh, improve chain life, rapidly and incredible, home compost and marine, and also recycle friendly. Everything, multiple day of life, I have everything. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and also, I try to come here because uh, when we say that the barrier is what is for the new, we can use it and try to it can share one the product. And mm -hmm. I keep getting on to the packaging. So, you can see that there is a lot of, there are a lot of, of uh, interest in, even in that's one bag, you can say that's one bag, but there are a lot of uh, area for the resource in general, in this area. So, for the conclusion, I will say that the compost plastic market still has a high potential growth and there are a lot of requirements for uh, development. And this requirement, I will say that if we uh, I mean, the uh, developing in this area is more uh, have higher chance to launch the market compared to the functional plastic. Because that, that market is kind of 
much wealthy. So but he decided that there's a lot of the area to go study. And for the least factor to do for the number of people he can help us to close the gap of the technology. And the last one is that for the government was uh create uh as the researcher to see the background for the market for the operation is very important for the technology. Thank you very much. It's very important for us to know the both of sustainability and market train of travel plastic. Thank you. So, any questions from the floor? Please go back to the uh, first one. Yeah. Uh, maybe something to talk about the topic. Yeah. Before we go, please see the topic of the city. Uh, actually, uh, the reason I do say it's zero because the uh, material is really good for heat seal. For, but for example, uh, for PBS, is a heat for PBS is a full compostable and good heat seal. That's why I, I do put it here. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, so number 10, so you mentioned about the plan for the bio development. So this is uh, from the source, about the uh, from the source, uh, the the source is because uh, uh, in Japanese government say that they make a new law for the food package to the 30 percent increases. Let's start thinking to the population growth, low in the bio, degradable import to the government. I think to more rapid increases, we have to do. But how do you, you can do? Um, I do say that. Uh, I actually I am now with with the list because uh, of the. For, for my experience, Japan is uh, Japan you don't compost you you have a really good system for, for this generation. But uh, I what I will be saying is but in Japan still you consider more on the web based, something like that. So uh, I I in that case I in my opinion I would say that the Japanese will go with the, this one. By uh, by the PD. Uh, that, that, that was the uh, is my estimation. From the biomass, from biomass product, but the but the it is a biodegradable from biomass. Yeah. But uh, I think the most important, right now, biodegradable kind of food package is only the one way. How to recycle it by the only way. Just uh, for example, like the uh, engineering plastics, this high temperature. It's not biodegradable, it's okay. Like a biogas, like a biogas for your mind, it's important. But uh, I, I don't know, but uh, this increases the number, like that uh, increases, but uh, your company, how to make to production ability oh, to increase or not? Um, I would say that uh, currently the uh, the capacity, you say that the currently the capacity of the compostable plastic in the world is still not full, and it's around sixty percent. So there is still room to to to, to produce, but uh, you know, I bioplastic is a uh, uh, is quite similar to petrochemical industry, so it has about two to three years to start uh, construct a new plant. So in this, I, even we can see that the growth is quite high, but I, I didn't think that it would be a problem for, for supply this product. Unless the product, as the requirement comes immediately, not, not slowly like this, but that next year come like this, that will be the problem. But I, I, I don't expect like that. 
Thank you very much. If you are not one's king. At least, may I invite Dr. Walong to lap up just two minutes? Okay, one minute. Thank you very much. So, let me wait one minute. So, we've learned a lot of, um, bio, about a lot of our material terms and open to uh, suitability. So, um, starting from our needs, so we learned from uh, Professor Jiro Chan Chai about you know, the, uh, the room for molecular design and then making interesting monomer, uh, which can be polymerized into different polymers with degradability. Uh, from Professor Mitra, we learned about the magic at the interface and how much uh, we can do to make things interesting from you know, just you know, looking into the small room for, for improvement at the interface to get uh, very, very uh, good materials. From Dr. Chan, from the Philippines, uh, we learned about the nano um, sustainable uh, research area in the Philippines. And from Professor Ito, we learned about um, the aspect of the mechanical property that is related to uh, marine degradable polymers, which is the big thing around the world. For uh, policy and implementation, we hear from Ms. Setsapon about the direction, the policy, and implementation toward the global uh, partnership development in uh, developing human resources and also technology in different countries, including uh, mainly in Thailand. Uh, we hear from uh, Ms. Libra about the Nano Technology Initiative uh, in the Philippines and what's going on there, so it's an interesting story. And finally, last but not least, uh, from uh, Dr. Sirot um, India, uh, Dr. Jinwa, um, about the global trend and the, and the market and also the directions that is also the guidelines for not just the industry, but also the researcher as well, you know, how they can define or design their research to be uh, uh, impactful and directional. So, so with that, I would like to turn the floor back to uh, the organizers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, I hope that you found today on the informative and useful presentation. So before I leave, may I request all Thai participants to participate in a short online via QR code on the screen. And on behalf of the organizing team of NASDA, um, I would like to thank our distinguished guests <laughs> and all participants to be a part of our seminar today. And it's been a great day and wonderful afternoon with um, the present of all of you. And, and I hope you have a sort of a safe journey back home to um, our speaker from Network of Canada, uh, Japan, and Philippines and Thailand as well. So thank you very much. So I can have